Asperger's syndrome. Mild PDDNOA. What are they? Do they really exist? Has the names interchanged? Why is this? Does it last longer than we usually know about? Hi chameleons, welcome back to my channel. Right now you have heard quite, well, quite briefly what the hell up was I on about? So as you're aware basically you may be thinking despite that you know Asperger's syndrome for some people do exist even though it's a diagnosis for some. For me I wear it as a badge of honor to just represent my th representation of myself as that diagnosis and that and saying that I wear it with pride and to who and what I am as a person. Some people may just treat it as something else like a tragedy that after being diagnosed even though as we know as I said before so many times before that with Asperger's syndrome that's no longer diagnosed whatsoever but as you know over the years different diagnostic labels has been used of these terminologies and they may interchange over the years as well because it has co-present certain similar symptoms in these everyday diagnoses that we come about such as autism, autism spectrum disorder, autism spectrum con condition, classical autism keen autism, pervasive developmental disorder, high functioning autism, Asperger's syndrome and pathological avoidance, demand avoidance I should say, so PDA. This will reflect the different amount or manuals and tools that has been used in the past and present especially in the 2013 manual that I have clearly mentioned so many times before which I'll link in the archive above me and in the description box with the timestamp on it as we're going along as well as some other references for you guys to get into grip. Because as we know basically there are different autism profiles that are usually presented by every different individual so don't worry about shame as I said in the beginning or most of my videos right now but don't worry about shame just because you've met me as an autistic that we're all the same because we're all on a broad spectrum from what the different symptoms will show in this there's of recent and upcoming changes to the main diagnostic manual that has become about autism spectrum disorder is more likely to become the most commonly given diagnostic term or autism as well autism syndrome remains a useful profile for many diagnosticians and professionals to make an easier diagnosis though but I think way back was I was said when you get diagnosed or well, the people that are earlier diagnosed with Asperger's syndrome it is now in the DSM-5 classically known as autism most of the time. Asperger's syndrome or AS is also known as Asperger's is a neural developmental disorder that is characterized by significant difficulties in social interaction and non-verbal communication with your peers along with the restricted and repetitive patterns of behavior and interest. It's an autism spectrum disorder again as I said but this will differ from many of these different autism spectrum disorders that you may have come to hear about. So this is why I'm here today to give you guys a lowdown, what it is, how you can treat it, manage it, signs and symptoms to look out for and more to learn from me based on since I was clinically diagnosed with Asperger's syndrome before they decided to provide that label or diagnosis of Asperger's syndrome to, as I say, put it as to autism. Although not required for diagnosis, physical clumsiness and unusual use of language can be quite common in people with Asperger's syndrome. However, signs usually begin before two years of age and typically last for a person's entire life because obviously it's a condition that will be a lifelong condition that will last till when the end of the life. Asperger's syndrome is one of a group of neurological disorders known as the autism spectrum disorder as I mentioned so many terms before. Asperger's syndrome is also considered to be the mild end of the autism spectrum. People with autism spectrum exhibit three primary symptoms which are having difficulty with social interaction, engaging in repetitive behaviors, standing firm on what they think, focusing on rules and routines, the symptoms to look out for full Asperger's syndrome. Again as I said this will vary from person to person but children with Asperger's syndrome often have an obsessive focus on a narrow topic of interest at heart. Children with Asperger's syndrome may develop an all coming interest in things like train schedules, bus schedules or dinosaurs for example for many you know not all. This is one of the reasons that children with Asperger's syndrome may have difficulty with their social interaction with their peers or just getting on with their peers. People with Asperger's syndrome are usually unable to read facial expression and body language. Many people with Asperger's syndrome find it hard to recognize other people's feelings. Not all, it's just like I said, it will vary from person to person. It's common for people with this condition to avoid eye contact when they're speaking with others. So don't forever assume basically when we're looking away at you that we're not forever listening, we are fully p paying attention to you, we're absorbing everything you're saying as a spy and what have you. So therefore I said about autism and eye contact, why we struggle or what have you, which I'll link again in the eye card above me and in the description box below me to find out more. People with Asperger's syndrome may also speak in a monotone kind of form of language and display for facial, few facial expressions. They may also have difficulty knowing when to lower the, vo of the, the volume of their voice, especially when it comes to accommodate their own locations, wherever that may be, maybe in inside a house versus maybe say a classic example outside in the supermarket. Children with Asperger's syndrome may also have difficulty with essential motor skills such as running or walking.
okay. those children may lack coordination uh, and may not be able to do certain tasks such as climbing or riding a bike. A few suspicious syndrome disorder cases have been linked to some exposure to teratogens which are agents that has been caused by birth defect during the first eight weeks from conception. Although this does not exclude the factor or possibility that autism spectrum disorder can be initiated or affected later on after giving birth to the child. It's strong evidence that ASD arises where very early in development. Some may say many environmental factors play a part in this as well, have been hypothesized to affect the child or act upon after birth, but none of these have been confirmed by scientific investigation. Some people with autism spectrum disorder are now classified as high functioning, which I didn't want to use that terminology because I know for the fact that will offend many people on the spectrum, but also just be mind be kind to one another when it comes down to it. As I said before briefly about high functioning versus low functioning to know the difference. If you want to know more, I'll link it in the icon above me and in the description box below me but just really quick one high functioning autism just to lay it out there of the definition means that these individuals don't have delayed language skills or cognitive development that's typical of many of those with autism spectrum disorder and some of them also that are on that scale may not need a lot of assistance they may need only a slight assistance to meet their accommodations needs, but not all but then again as I said it varies from person to person of the individuals diagnosed with special syndrome have normal or above normal intelligence in addition people with this condition are frequently able to edu be educated in the mainstream classrooms and hold down jobs. A special syndrome cannot be cured, no way Jose. Abracadabra thinking, you know, let's be gone. Like many, you know, mental health conditions, we wish maybe for some of us to have it gone because it made me feel that they're a burden to others around them or what have you. But in saying this, early diagnosis and intervention can help a child make social connections, achieve their potential and lead to a productive life. The exact cause of special syndrome is clearly unknown. While it's largely inherited, the underlying genetics have been determined conclusively as of yet so there's still in the works about you know what is the cause of you know special syndrome and whatnot even though as i said before that it will most likely be not the vaccines i want to put that out there because i've spoken about autism does like vaccines doesn't cause autism no far from it so if you want to find out more about what i'm sharing with that i'll link it in the icon about me in the description box below me but it is widely largely inherited maybe un in the underlying genetic that hasn't yet been determined conclusively and then another one you could be looking into is the environmental factors that has been also believed to play a part or role for cause of asbestos syndrome but then again brain imaging basically some people that does it hasn't identified a common underlying condition in the 2000, in 2013 the diagnostic manual as a said of the dsm-5 of the asbestos syndrome has been removed with the symptom now included within the autism spectrum disorder along with autism and pervasive developmental disorder not otherwise specified or ppd and all it it remains within international classification of diseases ICD-11 as of 2019 as a subtype of autism spectrum disorder which the ICD of the classification of diseases is a manual that obviously the signs and symptoms bang on the money maybe of the certain condition as well as I'm saying that that it is a real in-depth but I've noticed again there's no single treatment however an effectiveness of particular intervention is supported by only limited data treatment is aimed at lowering obsessive or repetitive repetitions and improving communication skills and physical clumsiness so again many people may have heard so many times before about people doing applied behavior therapy analysis ABA in short which I will link in the icon above me and in the description box below me some feel that it is good for them but many of the autistics I've been talking to feels that ABA isn't the right interventions may include also social skill training cognitive behavioral therapy physical therapy speech therapy parent training and medications or associated problems such as such as mood or anxiety most children improve as they grow up but social and communication difficulties will usually become present some researchers and people on the autism spectrum disorder or autism spectrum has advocated a shift of attitudes or in attitudes towards the view that autism spectrum disorder is a difference rather than a disease that can be treated or cured. The syndrome is named after the Austrian pediatrician by the name of Hans Spurgeon who was in 1994 described children in his care who struggled to form friendship, did not understand others, gestures or feelings, engaged in one-sided conversations about their favourite interests and were clumsy. Even though I have also done some read-up that people feel that, you know, maybe it's a good thing that they don't want to be called Asperger's or Asperger's is a person with Asperger's syndrome because of the history about hence Asperger's and how we treated the children especially because obviously in that time they, they were trying to eradicate get rid of people on the autism spectrum of Asperger's when it was clearly known for in that time frame. The modern conception of Asperger's syndrome came into existence in 1981 however and went through a period of popularization it became a standardized diagnosis in the early 1990s. Many questions and controversies about the condition still remain to this day though however so the class 
classification of suspicious syndrome they think of the overlap between suspicious syndrome and high functioning autism autism unaccompanied by intellectual dis disability is however unclear still the autism spectrum disorder classification is to some extent an artifact of how autism was diagnosed or discovered in this case and may not reflect a true nature of the spectrum methodological problems have been suspicious syndrome as a valid diagnosis from the outset in the fifth edition of the dsm-5 as i mentioned this was published in may 2013 worldwide as a separate diagnosis was eliminated or omitted out of that manual and followed into the umbrella of autism spectrum disorder which i'll have a picture above me about this autism spectrum disorder of the different ones that classifies in that cluster of autism spectrum disorder so you can gain a better understanding like the diagnosis of suspicious syndrome the change it was controversial and suspicious syndrome wasn't removed from the who's icd-10 or icd-11 manual the world health organization is what it's known for for who define suspicious syndrome as one of the autism spectrum disorders or pervasive developmental disorder which are a spectrum of psychological condition that are characterized by abnormalities of social interaction communication that person the individual's fun functioning and by restricted and repetitive interest and behavior like other psychological developmental disorders especially the syndrome disorder begins in infancy and childhood has a steady course without remission or relapse and has impairments that result from maturation related changes in various autism like, like traits such as social deficit of the other four AEC forms that I have clearly mentioned autism is the most similar to the suspicious syndrome in signs and is likely causes but it diagnosis creates impaired communication and allows delay in cognitive development. Rett syndrome and childhood dis disintegration disorder share several signs with autism but may have unrelated causes and pervasive developmental disorder however not otherwise specified. It diagnosed when the criteria for more specific disorders are met. People with suspicious syndrome often imply a of all specialized interests such as the boys who interest in taking hands. It's a pervasive developmental disorder. Suspicious syndrome is a distinguished by a pattern of symptoms rather than a single symptom alone. It's characterized by qualitative impairment and social interaction by stereotype and restrictive patterns of behavior activity and interest and by no clinically significant delay in cognitive development or general delay in language. Intent preoccupation with a narrow subject or injury at heart, one-sided verbality of communication, restricted variety and physical clumsiness are typical of the condition but are not required for the diagnosis. Suicidal behavior appears to occur at rates similar to those without AED, so just to be in mind. Especially since you're in an interpersonal relationship based on this is a lack of or death of demonstration of towards empathy has been known for but as is always the case, affected aspects of communal living for persons with asperger's syndrome. Individuals with asperger's syndrome experience difficulties in basic elements of social interaction which may include a failure to develop friendships or relationships or to share some enjoyments or achievements with others, examples showing others object of interest, a lack of social emotional reciprocity which is a game's example to clearly understand as social games give and take mechanism, an impaired non-behavioral behavior in areas such as eye contact, facial expression, posture and gesture. People with asperger's syndrome may not be as withdrawn with others around them or around others compared with those with other more deliberate forms of autism just to be in mind. They approach others even if awkwardly for example a person with a special syndrome may engage in a one-sided conversation or long-sided speech about a favorite topic that they like. While understanding or recognizing not recognizing the listener's feelings or reactions such as a wish to change the topic at hand of the talk and the interaction being involved. The social awkwardness has been called active but odd. Such failures to react are properly social interaction may appear as disregarded for some other people's feelings and may come across as rude or insensitive however not all individuals with AS will approach others this way or the opposite some may choose only to talk to people they may like you know also the term cognitive ability of children with AS often allows them to articulate social norms in a laboratory context where they may be able to deal with theoretical understanding for the people's emotions however they typically have difficulty acting in this knowledge in fluid real life situations people with AS may analyze and distill their observations of social interaction into record behaviors and apply these rules in awkward ways such as false eye counting resulting in demeanor that appears rigid or socially naive. Childhood desire and for communication can become numb through a history of failed social encounters that they have in their life. People with suspicious syndrome can play behavior interests and activities that are restricted and repetitive and are sometimes abnormally intent or focused. They may do inflexible routine, move in stereotype and repetitive ways, where occupy themselves with parts of objects or engage in compulsive behaviors like lining objects in order to form a dumb form or pattern. Pursuit of specific and narrow areas of interest is one of the most striking among possible features of AI. Individuals with AS may collect volumes of detailed information on a relatively narrow topic such as whether data or star name just to name a few without necessarily having a genuine understanding of the broader topic. For example, a child might memorize camera models while models and numbers while not caring little about photography. This behavior is usually apparent by the age of five or six while children with AS. Although these special interests may change from time to time, they typically become more unusual and narrowly focused and often dominate social interaction so much that the entire family may have become immersed because narrow topics often capture the interests of children that may become
um, unrecognized. Stereotypical and repetitive behaviors of the motor behaviors usually are a full part of the diagnosis of AES and other autism spectrum disorder, non as for dimming. This may include hand movements such as flapping or twisting and complex whole body movement. These are typically repeated in longer bursts and look more voluntary or ritualistic than the tit, which are usually faster, less rhythmical, and less often symmetrical. Although individuals with special syndrome acquire language without significant general delay, and they typically like significant abnormally language acquisition and use is often atypical. Abnormalities include verbosity, abrupt traditions, literal interruptions, and comprehension of nuance, use of metaphor, meaningful only to the speaker, auditory perceived deficits, unusually pedantic, formal, or idiocentric speech, and oddities in loudness, pitch, intonation, prosody, and rhythm. Echolalia also has been observed in individuals with a vicious syndrome. Although individuals with a vicious syndrome acquire language skills without significant general delay, and they typically lack significant abnormality, language acquisition and the use of it is often atypical. Although abnormalities include verbosity, abrupt transitions, literal interruptions, and miscarriage of nuances, as I said. These effects of communication patterns are of clinical interest for porosity, occasional and superficial speech, and marked verbosity. Although inflection and information may be less rigid or monotonic rather than uh, in a classic autism, people with AES often have a limited range of intonation. Speech may usually become fast, jerky, or loud. Speaking may convey a sense of incoherence. The controversial conversational style often includes monologues that detect whether the listener is interested or engaged in that conversation. The speaker's conclusional point may never be made and attempt for the listener to elaborate on the speech's content or logic or to just be related topics are often unsuccessful. Children with AES may have a sophisticated sense of vocabulary at a really young age and such children often have been colloquial the little professors but have difficulty understanding figurative language and tend to use language literally. Children with AES appear to have particular weakness in areas of non literal language that include humour, irony, teasing and sarcasm. Although individuals with AES usually understand cognitive basis of humour, they seem to lack understanding of the intent of humour to share their enjoyment with others. Quite strong evidence of impaired humour appreciation and anecdotal report of humour in individuals with AES seem to be challenging some with psychological theories of AES and autism. Individuals with a special syndrome or AES may have signs or symptoms that are independent of the diagnosis but can affect the individuals or their family. These include differences in perception and problems with motor skills such as sleep and emotion. Individuals with AES often have excellent auditory and visual perception. Children with AES often demonstrate enhanced perception of small changes in patterns such as arrangements of objects or well-known images. This is domain specific and involves processing of fine-grained features. Conversely, compared with individuals with high-functioning autism, however, individuals with AES have deficit in some tasks involving visual, facial perception, auditory perception, or visual memory. Many accounts of individuals with AES and AES report other unusual sensory and perceptual skills and experiences. They may be unusually sensitive or sensitive to sound, light, and other stimuli around them. These sensory responses are found in other developmental disorders as well and aren't specific to AES or to AED, however. There's little support for increased light to flight response or failure of hypertension in autism. There is more evidence of decreased responsiveness to sensory stimuli, although several studies has, has no difference with people with AES. As autistic people, including those with AES, often communicate differently. They may have difficulties with interpreting both verbal and non-verbal language, like just a form of the tone of voice, or it may take them a little longer to understand. Some autistic people have a very literal understanding of language and think people always mean what they actually are saying or doing to them. So again, as a tip for you guys or an advice for those, if you do handle per people with autism spectrum disorder or AES or any of these, as I mentioned, maybe to just break it down into smaller chunks of what you're saying, if you're literally meaning what you're saying, you know, like if you expect a child to, example, do a certain given task, say, Gavin, can you please take out the garbage right now as, as an, in a mess or something in that form to make them understand. Facial aggressions, tones of voice, jokes and sarcasm, they go with great comments, these traits can express themselves in different ways. For instance, someone with Asperger's syndrome may be very funny or sarcastic like themselves, but they may not always pick up on sarcasm on the opposite side of it. People with AES usually have good language skills, but they will still find it hard to understand the expectations of others within conversations, perhaps repeating what the other person has just said. This is called a gang galalia, or talking at length about their own interests. People with AES may need more time to produce information, however, and may often find it easier to understand clear, consistent language rather than the abstract terms or phrases that they may be throwing at them. People with AES have difficulty reading other people, recognizing or understanding others' feelings and interests, and expressing their own emotions. This can make it very hard for them to navigate the social world. They may, one, appear to be insensitive even if they don't intend to be insensitive in the first place. Two, seek out the time alone when overloaded by other people. Three, appear to behave strangely or in a way that thought to be socially inappropriate by others. This doesn't mean that autistic people, including the ones with AES, lack empathy or the ability to feel emotions around them. In many cases, they can be more empathetic or emotionally aware than those that are non-autistic people. They may have trouble expressing their feelings in conventional or socially appropriate way. For these reasons, some autistic may find it hard to form friendships. Some may want to interact with others and make friends and then they're not sure how to go about it. Some people with suspicions may appear to be much more socially confident and or adept than they really are. Many autistic adults may develop more traditional skills by maybe getting others around them or by preparing what they are going to say before an event as they are learning a script. This is an effective yet exhausting. The world can seem a very unpredictable and confusing place for people with AS who often prefer to have a daily routine so 
that they know what's going on every day, right? They may want to always travel the same way to and from school, work, what have you, or not exactly the same food for breakfast though. The use of rules can also be important to them. It may be difficult for someone to take a different approach to something once they have been taught the certain right quote unquote way to do it. They may not be comfortable with the idea of change, but may be able to cope better if they can prepare changes in advance. Many people with AES have intense and highly focused interests of them form a fairly young from a very young age. These can change over time or it can be lifelong and can be anything from art, music, anime to trains or computers or what have you. interest may sometimes be unusual for some. One person may love co be collecting rubbish for example. A classic example with encouragement this particular person develops an interest in recycling in the environment. Many channel their interest into studying paid work, volunteering or other meaningful careers or jobs. People with AES often may then pursuit or pursuit of such interest is fundamental to their well-being and happiness. Standard diagnostic criteria require impairment in social interaction and repetitive and stereotype patterns of behaviours, activities and or interests without significant delay in language or cognitive development as I said many times before. Unlike the international standard of the DSM-5 criteria also requires significant impairment in day-to-day -day functioning. DSM-5 eliminated AS as a separate diagnosis in 2013 as I mentioned under that umbrella spectrum that I said. Other sets of diagnostic criteria have been proposed by Shmaisari EL and by Gilberg and Gilberg. Diagnosis is, is most commonly made between the ages of 4 and 11. A comprehensive assessment involves a multidisciplinary team coming to it that will observe more across multiple settings includes neurological and genetic assessment as well as some tests for cognitive psychomotor functions that verbal and non-verbal strength and weaknesses all of learning and skills of inhibitive dependent living. Oh, the gold standard in diagnosing ASD's combines clinical judgment with the autism diagnostic interview revised ADI a semi-structured interview in diagnosing ASD's combines clinical judgment with the autism diagnostic interview with the child and the autism diagnostic observation schedule a conversation and play place interview with the child delayed or mistaken diagnosis can be traumatic for individuals and families for example misdiagnosis can lead to medications that may worsen the behavior a diagnosis and overdiagnosis may also become a problem the cost and difficulty of screening and assessment can delay diagnosis in certain parts of the world obviously conversely increasing popularity of drug treatment options and the prevention of the benefits has motivated providers to overdiagnose autism spectrum there are indications AS have been diagnosed more frequently in recent years partly as a residual diagnosis for children of normal intelligence who aren't autistic but have social difficulties. Many children with AS are initially misdiagnosed with attention deficit hyperactive disorder or ADHD which I clearly mentioned about ADHD in some series. If you want to find out more click in the icon above me on the description box below me. Diagnosing adults can be more challenging however as standard diagnosis criteria designed for children and the expression of AS changes within A. Again I also talked about autism and aging which I'll link in the icon above me and then the description box below me. Adult diagnosis requires painstaking clinical examination and thorough medical history gained from both the individual and other people known for the person focusing on childhood behaviors. Conditions that must be considered is a differential diagnosis with ADHD which include other ASDs. The schizophrenia spectrum, personality disorders, obsessive compulsive disorder, major depressive disorder, somatic pragmatic disorder, non-verbal learning disorder, social anxiety disorder, Tourette syndrome, stereotypic movement disorder, bipolar disorder, social cognitive deficits due to brain damage from alcohol abuse and obsessive compulsive personality disorder. There's no single test that can tell you whether your child has a Sadly, in many cases parents report developmental or behavioral delays or difficulties. If your child is in school, their teacher may develop may note these developmental problems at hand. These issues may be reported to your doctor or specialized team. They can access your child in certain key areas such as language development, social interaction with their peers, facial expressions when they're talking to you or their peers, interest in interacting with others, attitudes towards change, motor coordination and motor skills. Because there are no specific tests for diagnosing as I said, many patients have been misdiagnosed with many other health problems such as attention deficit hypothesis. If this happens your child may not be evaluated again to determine the correct diagnosis. Again there is no cure for autism or you know abracadabra here however sadly there are various treatments that can reduce symptoms of the disorder that can help your child to reach to their full potential. Treatment is often based on the child specific symptoms obviously so every symptom will be different to treat so again be mindful of what you do based on treatments and therapies that are available for you. Have an open mind because as I said before that it will vary from person to person so if you're into want to know more basically what works for your child just keep on 
at it and not give up because obviously there will be hope in the end of the tunnel. But obviously there are some medications that are often used to treat the AS symptoms. Examples like your arinoprazole, pazole, abilify to reduce irritability, your gonofacin or tenet, olanipsepam, which is basically your zyprexa and naloxetone, revia to reduce the hyperactivity, collective serotonin reuptake inhibitors or SSRIs as the abbreviated down to reduce repetitive behaviours, recipital or recipital consta to reduce agitation and insomnia. Medication can be helpful for controlling behaviours that are problematic to you but they may occur due to AS. However, there are other treatments that can improve communication skills, emotional regulation and social interaction. Many children with AS may also receive social skills training, speech language therapy, occupational therapy, physical therapy, cognitive behavioural therapy. Parents are often provided with therapy as well. Parental training can help with coping with the everyday challenges that it involves in raising a child with AS. Greening. Parents of children with AS can typically trace differences in their children's development as early as 30 months of age. The developmental screening during a routine checkup by a general practitioner or pediatrician may identify signs that warrant further investigation to do some more, you know, training or just more developmental way of just their way of diagnosing more in a way of it. In the US alone, Preventive Services Task Force in 2016, this has been found to be unclear if screening was beneficial or harmful among children in whom they are there are no concerns to be dealt with. Different screening instruments are used to diagnose AS, however, including the AS Diagnose Scale Autism Spectrum Screening Questionnaire, Childhood Autism Spectrum Test, including that basically previously called the Childhood Asperger's Syndrome Test, Gillian Asperger's Disorder Scale, Krug Asperger's Disorder Index, and the Autism Spectrum Quotient, with versions for children, adolescents, and adults. None have shown, though, how to, that are reliably differentiated between the AS and other forms of ASD. Asperger's Syndrome treatment attempts to manage stressing symptoms and to take age appropriate social communication and verbal skills that aren't naturally acquired during development with intervention tailored to the needs of individuals based on multidisciplinary assessments. Although progress has been made, data supporting the efficacy of particular interventions are however limited. Managing AS like ideally involves multiple therapies that address the core symptoms of a disorder. As I mentioned before earlier, just to be mindful of these therapies because as I said some people may not agree with it but just find one that as I'm suggesting this that may work for you and your child because everybody will be different. While most professionals agree that the earlier the intervention the better there's no treatment elimination or combination that is required or recommended above all others of these therapies. AS treatment resembles that of those with high functioning ASDs however except that it taken into account of the linguistic capability, verbal strengths and non-verbal vulnerabilities of individuals with AS. A typical program generally includes maybe applied behaviour analysis ABA as I said procedures that includes positive behaviour support PBBS or training and support of parents and school facility programs of the behaviour and behaviour management strategies to use in the home and school and social skills training for more effective inter interactions. Cognitive behavioural therapy has been said to improve stress management relating to anxiety or explosive emotions and to help reduce obsessive interest and improve routine. Medication for co conditions such as major depressive disorders and anxiety disorder, occupational or physical therapy to assist with poor sensory processing and coordination and social co and saying those basically you've got the speech therapy as well. Of the many studies on the behaviour based early intervention program most of our case reports up to five participants and typically examines a few problem behaviors such as self-injury aggression non-compliance stereotypes and spontaneous language unintended use side effects are allegedly ignored despite the popularity of social skills training its effectiveness is not yet firmly established however a randomized controlled study of a model for training parents and problem behaviors in their children with AES showed that parents attending in a one-day workshop or six individual lessons report few behavioral problems with their child while parents receiving the individual lessons reported less intense behavioural problems in their AS children. Medication. There are no medications directly treated to cause symptoms of AS however although research has shown the efficacy of pharmaceutical intervention for AS has been limited. It's essential to analyse and treat comorbid conditions obviously because as I said before with many autism spectrum disorders it overlaps with other things be it your ADHD, ADD, bipolar and the rest of it. It's essential as I said deficits in self identifying emotions or in observing effects of one's behaviour or others can make it difficult for the visuals with AEC why medication may be appropriate for them. Medication can be effective in combination with behavioural interventions and environmental combinations and treating comorbidities such as anxiety disorders, major depressive disorders, and attention of aggression and so on and so forth as I mentioned earlier. The atypical antipsychotic medications risperidone, olazepam and erisipil has been shown to reduce the associated symptoms of S as well as the repetitive and self-injury behaviour, aggressive behaviours and outbursts and impulsivity. Care must be taken though however with medications I want to advise you 
will a side effects may be more common and harder to reevaluate what the individuals with AS and tests of drug effectiveness against these comorbid conditions routinely include individuals from the autism spectrum. Abnormalism metabolism, cardiac conduction times, and an increased risk of type 2 diabetes has been raised as a concern with antipsychotic medications given. Low on serious long term neurological side effects. SSRI can lead to minimal manifestations of behavioral activity variations along with serious long term neurological side effects. SSRI such as increased impulsivity, aggression, and sleep disturbance, weight gain, and fatigue are commonly reported side effects of the resveratrin, which may also lead to increased risk of extra perinatal symptoms such as restlessness and dystonia and increased serum prolate levels. Some people with AS may see the world as feeling overwhelming and this can cause them so much considerable anxiety. In particular, understanding and relating to other people and taking part in everyday family school, work, family, social life can basically be harder for some. On the other hand, other people appear to know intuitively how to communicate and interact with each other, yet also struggle to build rapport with people with AS. People with AS may wonder why they are different and feel their social differences mean different, you know, people won't understand them. Autistic people often don't look disabled. Some parents of autistic children say that other people simply think their child is naughty, while autistics may find that they are misunderstood, which is clearly true. We are um, misunderstood. As again, I said, there's no cure for AS. However, many children with the disorder grow up to live healthy and protective lives. With the treatment and early intervention, though may still struggle with social interaction, most adults with AS are able to live independently on themse by themselves. AS was introduced to the world by British psychiatrist Lorna Keane in the 1980s. Term derived from a non not a full study, as I said, by Hans Esberger's now new evidence about a problematic history was recently being revealed and provoked as a big debate about this. Many people who fit the profile for AS are now being diagnosed with the autism spectrum disorder instead of ASD. Each person is different, it's, it's up to each individual how they choose to identify themselves, so don't forever assume that you know you know them, ask them how they would like to be addressed and stuff, as I said. Autism is a spectrum condition, all autistic people will share certain difficulties, but being autistic will affect them in many different ways. Some people with AS, however, also have mental health issues or other conditions meaning people need different levels of types of support as I mentioned in one of the people with ASD hear and feel the world differently to other people if you have AS you have it for life it's not an illness or disease however it can't be cured often people with AS is a fundamental aspect of their identity as I said earlier I wear it as a badge of honor as a form of identity about me people with AS don't have learning disability that many autistic people have but they may have specific learning differences or difficulties in their own given done right they may have fewer problems with each they may still have difficulties with understanding and processing language as I said but to end this with right so, sort of for all assisted people can be helped to live a more fulfilling life of their own choosing if they choose so this quickly ends all about Asperger's syndrome smash the like if you like this comment below if you have this condition that I'm just clearly sharing right now and actually share how you go about with your everyday life when were you diagnosed what do you do to manage your everyday do you want people to understand more about autism spectrum disorders and stuff of your AS so in all for the do guys thanks for support thanks for watching do what love love what you do also where to find me Spotify obviously is SB Answers which is capital A capital A. Patreon is my crowdfunding page right now. You can find me on patreon.com SB Answers basically and for those of you who don't know what Patreon on is today for those who are listening that are new I have this set up for funding for future projects like this one of my podcast versus my merch that I've been designing which I'll share more briefly soon about my merch update or even in this podcast right now as I'm addressing this to you guys is that it's like a crowdfunding page or funding page for creators like me or content creators music creators whoever it may be they're seeking out funding to support themselves in a way of maybe say they need extra equipment for their cameras versus maybe their radio equipment if they were doing something similar like I am doing today or covering their rent travel costs what have you and in saying this also basically for the merch you'll see me basically maybe wearing it once in a while on my youtube channel as well as maybe you know out and about in public and so in saying this my merch site is spreadshirt.com life hyphen of hyphen and hyphen sb feel free to become a patron patreon to support this future project as well as many others that are in the works as of this time feel free to you know donate big or small with me and this journey of it and also my merch obviously will cover the cost for this as well so i'll catch you all again on the other side sb signing out for now and bye